Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and today we're going to learn how to make databases that work with Unity 5.0 or any other version of Unity, specifically using PHP and MySQL. If you haven't heard of PHP and MySQL before, don't worry, I will make sure to make it easy for you. It's just another sort of programming language that we're going to use to handle the, the database and then send it back to Unity. So let's take a look at the whiteboard. So we have our computer. Our computer needs, sorry, our computer needs to get online and access the MySQL database in the server, which is online. Maybe in a cloud, I don't know. So we take the information from that MySQL database using a PHP file, and we put that into our computer and later into our game. But because we don't have a MySQL database online, we're going to make a virtual one in our computer. And through the use of XAMPP, we can use our local host, that means our own computer, to be used as a, data, as a server that can host our MySQL database. And we can test all of our scripts there and then when we are ready and when we know how to do it, we can pay or we can find some free servers online and make them host our MySQL database. But that's for the future. So as we're beginners, we want to use our own computer. Yes. So the first thing we want to do is go to our favorite browser and here go to apachefriends.org and we want to download this program called XAMPP. So, what is XAMPP? Uh, you can read it, I will not read it, but just make sure that you download it. I'm using Windows, so I'm just going to download for Windows. And I already got it, so I'm, yeah, just go through the process of installing it. Once we are done, we will open Control Panel. So here we can see all the services that we get, we get from XAMPP. We want to start Apache and MySQL. After we already started these two services, we want to open a new tab in our browser. And what we want to type here is localhost. Now we want to go to PHP my admin. I already set a password, but I believe that at the beginning, when you just download this, the username is root and password is nothing. Just leave an empty space like that, okay? But I have my password. So we, okay, this is PHP my admin. So this is our server. And you see the server IP is 127.0.0.1. That's our loopback address. And that address means that we're using our own computer to host the server. So here you can see more information. But what we want to do, first of all, is make a new database. So create a database, we're going to add a database name. So for this, I'm going to call it, uh, so now I should think of a game that we will make to, just to do an example. I'm just gonna call this cool RPG because uh, uh, that's like the style we've been using in our, in our inventory series. So I'm just gonna call this cool YouTube, RPG and I'm going to use this and we're going to create this database cool YT RPG has been created so now we can access our database and you see no table no tables found in database so what's a table if you are familiar with Excel actually a table is something very simple you have keys and you have values so if, for example, I have name and I have a list of names, and next to it I have a list of ages, and down there I have 20, 52. So each value, for in this case, each age will correspond to each name. Like John is 23 years old, and Lucas is 22 years old, and that's and goes on and on and on. So we can make tables for, for example, our items. So Iron Sword has 10 damage and cost cost us 
uh, a thousand berry or rupee or whatever and that's how we create tables so first of all we need to give it we need to give it a name and for this name I'm just going to call it items and number of columns is the number of information that each item has so in this case we need an ID we need a name we need a type we need a cost right so that's four columns and here's the when we set up each column what's the type the length values so we want to be very simple and straightforward here we're going to type ID and ID we're going to just use a uh, integer so it's like 0 1 0 2 0 3 etc this we're just going to leave it like that and for the ID we want to select this AI the meaning of this is auto increment so we want that every time we add a new value into this table a new row this integer here is going to add one by itself so it's just going to go one two three four all the way up one more thing that we want to do is that in attributes no uh, here index must be unique and why we do why we need this because we cannot have two items with the same ID because that will make a lot of issues with our game right so the next thing is name and name of course is a, a bar character yeah um, yeah bar tar is fine and next thing is type and type is also a bar tar and finally we said cost and for cost we're going to use integer as well uh, because we don't have 0 0.5 rupees in our game okay so it's integer okay so we're going to press save and please enter a valid length so I guess we need to enter a length so maybe we will have around I don't think we're going to have more than a hundred thousand items for we'll do for, for this 20 characters uh, maybe more because the name may be uh, author the light bringers hammer or something like that so we want more characters for that and for the type maybe we just want 20 and for the cost uh, maybe we want that higher up a bit because we don't know how expensive can some items be right so once we set the length values we're ready to press save down here so here in our database cool YouTube RPG we have a table and the table is called items here right here so if we click on that we have a browse tab we have a structured tab so here you can see all the columns we have so what we want to do is insert so actually what we want to do now is to start creating items that later can be used in our game so if I remember we used to have some items like red potion rejuvenation potion and things like that so this value here is going to increment by itself so we can just leave it like uh, like that nothing to worry about the name we're going to type it here I'm going to type a health potion that's the first thing and this was consumables and the cost is um, 50 rupees or whatever we're going to we will decide a, a name and you know we'll, we're going to make this game you know uh, we're going to make this RPG and I'm going to do it with all of you guys I will get your suggestions and uh, actually that's a good idea if you guys you can you want you can send me your your designs or anything your scripts and we can use all of that in our game so um, later we'll decide name for the currency in our game but for now I'm just going to call it rupees because I'm a Zelda fan and yeah let's go with that so when we press go you see here there is a kind of a um, query and this is insert into the database name the table name and then which columns and then which values we want to enter now a health potion consumables and a 50 
So that means that we're inserting these values into this column. So we're creating a new row. So well, now that we can now, if we browse again, you see we have ID one health potion consumables fifty. So this is our first item in our database. I'm going to create one more item, and then we're going to make a PHP file that so we can get this information and then we can send it to our game in Unity. I can leave this alone. I'm going to call this iron underscore no, 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 because it's name, so it must look awesome. So iron sword type equipment. And the cost for this iron sword is 990 rupees. So I just go and browse and now we have two items. This is amazing. So we have two items in our database. Now we're going to create PHP files to handle this information here, take it from our database and put it back into our game. But for today, our time is over, so we'll have to wait for the next episode, but it will be uploaded soon. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you have any questions, remember to post it down on the comments. And if you have any ideas for the game that we're going to make now, uh, remember, this will be our game, our game of that we will make me and all of our subscribers. So uh, you guys keep it cool, keep programming, keep learning, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye, peace.